Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. Today I want to give you an update on the arcade spinner that a friend of mine has been working on for the arcade one-up machines. But before I get into that, I want to give a huge shout out, congratulations to Scott and Harold and the entire arcade one-up team for winning the 2019 Toy Fair Tech Toy of the Year. Say what? Congratulations guys. The fans have spoken, they do love your machines, and they can't wait for Phase 2 to start rolling out. Mortal Kombat is going to be a big hit for you guys, and we can't wait to see them. Okay, now for why you're here. An update on the Arcade 1UP spinner modification. Okay, so now let's talk about why you're here. This new arcade quality spinner for your Arcade 1UP. First, I want to say and apologize for the delays that's been happening. Uh, for the past two weeks, the Chinese manufacturers have been on vacation, so that has slowed up production. Originally, there's only going to be about 100 of these available. It got ramped up to 500 being initially available. And also, there's some change that had to happen for the 12-in-1 because of the trackball. We're going to get into all that in a second. So let's talk about first the initial product. The initial product would be this guy right here, which is the, the spinner, the weighted top, everything you need to, to basically install it in your standard Asteroids or your 6-in-1 with no soldering, no permanent modifications. This unit will go for $49.99. That's everything you need to plug it right into an Asteroids, the Asteroids Deluxe, or you could put it in your 12-in-1. It just won't hook up yet to your trackball. But that'll give you not only the spinner with the weight on it to give you that nice arcade spin on it, um, it'll also come with uh, adjustability. So you can do it anywhere from eight pulses all the way up to uh, 1,024 pulses. Now it's gonna come from the factory set up to run in Tempest, but you can adjust it if you, let's say, hack your 12-in-1, you wanna get a super breakout, adjust it to 64 pulses for that game. And then of course, you can adjust it to your liking, but to be honest, you wanna set it at the stock option for Tempest, which is probably what most people want it for. Let's talk about a couple other things here. Now, I was talking about the 12-in-1, and the big thing we've been trying to do with this is, is to make it simple. We don't want anyone soldering, cutting wires, or doing anything like that. That was like the biggest thing. and the 12-in-1 has a slightly way, different way of interfacing the spinner with the trackball. And the way this comes stock to be a plug-and-play solution didn't work with that because it's not going directly to the PCB, it has to go into the trackball. So there's an interface board that's going to be needed. Now again, the stock spinner will be $49.99. This interface board, which will let it work with your 12-in-1, and of course it will still work with your standard Asteroids and your Asteroids Deluxe, is going to go between $6.99 and $9.99. So it's not a lot more of an expense, but that's going to guarantee, again, there's no wire cutting or, or soldering of any kind. And it'll give you the additional ability of having USB on there. So if you ever did modify your machine with a Raspberry Pi or a PC, it'll let you connect it to, the, uh, to your machine and basically not have to waste your spinner. It'll still work with your new computer or Raspberry Pi. So again, it's not a lot, a lot more of expense, that's one of the things that's kind of held up because it has to be done in the production house to be made. And again, they've been on vacation for the past two weeks. So we're still shooting for over the next seven to 10 days to be able to get orders up and definitely get these out without question before the end of the month. So again, I do apologize for the delays. So I'll see if there's anything else here I missed on here. Uh, I think that's, that's really it. Now, this particular spinner, um, I've been testing now for quite some time, so at least six weeks uh, on this particular unit here, and I have two of them. I have a version one, which is just a spinner, and this is the version two, which has the adjustability settings. And I can definitely say, I don't think you'd be disappointed with it. And um, if you guys have been holding out, the light is coming towards the end of the tunnel. It's gonna be here relatively soon. So again, thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. If you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you keep tuned into here, and also the official Arcade One Up fan page on Facebook, so you'll get the actual release date for this guy right here. And again, the initial order is going to be about 500 that will be available, but there will be, be more uh, uh, after that. But that's the initial production run will be about 500 units. So that's it. So once again, I want to give a big shout out to Harold and Scott and big congratulations to winning the 2019 uh, Toy Fair product of the year. And with that being said, everyone, enjoy and game on.
Glenn at the Tiny Arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.